Yo, what's good, everybody? It's B. Vaughn here with We Create Music TV. And today I'm going to talk about five easy ways to chop up samples, chop them up in the machine MK3. So let's get right, right into it. Roll intro. We create music. All right, so once again, this video is dedicated to how to chop up samples in the machine MK3. You can also do these same techniques in the machine plus. So we're going to dive right into how to do that. So the very first thing that you have to do is choose a sample, right? So you choose the sample from whatever sample you are going to use. I'm just going to take one out of the Crate Cuts expansion pack. And of course, it was just one of my favorite expansion packs. So I'm going to take this keys out of the cross paths uh, sample and load that up into pad number one. Now, once you load up samples from expansion packs, a lot of them load up as audio modules. So what you need to do in order to manipulate it and change, change it the way that you want, you have to change it from an audio module into a sampler module. So you come out of the browser, you'll notice now you're here on sound and you can see that it is an audio module. What you need to do then is come down to this four way directional encoder, press on that. Once you press on it, you are presented with a bunch of options on the right hand side. You'll notice you have audio and sampler. We want to change it into this sampler. So I just click on load and you'll notice here on the left that it changes it from an audio module into a sampler module, which now we can manipulate, which now we can take this and make it our own and do all the things that we need to do from a chopping, chopping perspective. So here we go. So I'm going to go back into sampling. Once you get into sampling, it may put you on the record. It may come directly into edit, but what you want to get into is slice, right? So once you get into slice, you are then presented with the manual slicing option, which is the very first one that we're going to talk about. So you can see here at the bottom, we have slicer mode, which is manual, the auto snap, which is on, leave that on. I mean, you can take it off and then kind of, you know, play around with where it snaps and kind of give it your own groove and feel, but I always leave it on. That's just how I do my, my sampling in machine. So once you notice that, then you'll notice that here at the bottom, your pad one is ready to go to accept the sample chop that you are going to do, right? This gives you more flexibility and freedom uh, in your chopping and where you want your chops to, to be. So I'm just gonna just do that real quick. So here we go. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect because I can then go back and manipulate it and to, you know, move the transients right where I would want them to be. Right. So it may not be perfect when you first do it. And that's OK. So in order to now manipulate this even further, we need to assign this. Right. So we have all of our chops. Right. On each of the different each of the different pads. Now we need to apply this so that we can then change all the different transients. You have two methods to do this. One, once you click apply here, you'll notice now it's flashing here to place this on a particular pad, which is what we do not want to do, right? You don't want to do that. You want to place it on a group. So we're going to choose, we'll just say group A, right? And we'll click okay. And now it places, those chops on that particular group. Now we can go back and now we can edit the individual chops themselves, move the transients where we need to move those transient um, transient marks and clean it up a little bit, right? So we can go in, we can kind of see this is not exactly where it needs to be. And then you can just select the start and the end range for each one of these. Kind of clean it up to your liking. And then you can just press the next one, kind of zoom in do your cleanup. I'm not going to go through all these. I don't want the video to be super long, but you get the idea, right? You get the idea. 
But that's exactly what you want to do with almost any of these, is you want to place them on a group versus on a particular pad. Now, once I clean it up, I can click apply. Well, that was for truncate, but which I don't want to do. So we take that out, which actually you may want to do. I truncate a lot of my different samples just so that one little sample is on that pad. But that's how you do manual sampling. I'm going to come out, out of that, and then we're going to get back into slice, delete all, and now we have our fresh sample ready to go for the next one that I'm going to talk about, which is grid. Grid places all of your samples, as you can see, or all of the chops, as you can see on the 16 pads. You can tell the grid mode slicer what you want it to do. So you see that we are in grid. We can tell it has fourth of the slices, so we can kind of see here that it has broken them up into fourths. We can change that to eighths, and you can start to see it gets smaller, 16th and 32, right? So now it's... All those little teeny transients are now being chopped. So you determine that and play with it to your leisure of how you would like it. The other part of this is adjusting the, the beats per minute for that particular sample also. You have an audio adjustment that you can do and you have a manual adjustment that you can do. Play around with those, kind of determine what you like. If I wanted to do auto, it's on 75 BPM at the moment. I can change it to 150, right? Or I can change it to 37.5. And you can kind of see it kind of stretches it out. So play around with it to your liking, determine how you want to do that from an audio adjustment perspective for the BPM. But you also have the manual as well, which then you can go in and tweak the actual BPM and those transients will move along with those BPMs or with those, uh, yeah, with the BPM that you select. You also notice there are different pages that you have here. So it tells, once you go to the next page, it tells you, okay, slice one of 26, two of 26. And so you can scroll through the different slices. You can adjust the start end times as well for each one. And you can turn mono on and off and also your pattern. This is something that you wanna do as well so that each pad cuts itself off and you don't want it to create a, its own pattern itself. So turn that pattern to, to none. Right, so that's the next one is grid. The next one out of that is split. Automatically splits it into the number of slices that you designate uh, within machine. Right now you can tell that it is on four slices or eight slices, 1632. Very simple. You just go in and tell it how many slices you want on each of the different pads. You can also go in and look at, this is number one of four slices, number two, right? So you can kind of scroll through, adjust the start in time as well, kind of do some cleanup directly from, from here. And you can also, once again, you got the mono and the pattern selection choice, whether you want that on or, or not. Split is exactly what it is. It just automatically splits it into those, into those slices. It gives you some control, but not a lot of flexibility in that sense because it has pre-designated slices that it automatically does for you. The next that we're gonna look at is detect. And this is going to detect every transient in the sample itself, right? So you can see here as we go in, it has detect. We look at the sensitivity. You can tell that sensitivity is at 50%. So it is showing 50% of the transients in this particular sample. I can take it down to uh, zero sensitivity, which shows us no transients. And as you start to adjust the sensitivity, you can see that more transients start to appear. So if I go all the way up to 100, there's every transient within this sample. Right? And so play around with that if you want to use that detect mode also, once again, uh, once again, it's just showing you all the different transients that are available within your sample. It has the three different pages as well. You can scroll through which number of samples they are and kind of clean it up once again. And then of course you have the mono and pattern options also. 
All right, so the fifth way I'm going to talk about or show you in relationship to sampling is probably one of my favorite ways to, to do this, which is duplicating the sample onto the number of pads that you want to. Now, this is a very manual process, but it gives you the greater flexibility over the sampling. So what you need to do in this case is to click on duplicate. Once you click on duplicate, select the pad that you want to duplicate and then place it on the number of pads that you want to place that particular sample on. So then I come out of duplicate and now I have eight versions of this same sample on eight different pads. Now, so what you need to do here is to ensure that you put all of these in a choke group. That way they don't play over one another as you are manipulating and chopping up your, your sample. So the way to, to do that you press on select. I'm going to press on all, right? I'm going to come back out of select, press the pad mode, and then choose the group that I want as well. All right, so now it places all of those samples into the choke group. Easy, right? And so now I can go through and manipulate the samples the way that I want to. And so it is super easy to do you just now go through and play the parts that you that you want. So I'm going to start with number one. So let's say I wanted to end there. I just take my end marker and I end it here. And I just go to number two. Right, and you chop it up the way that you like. I missed one. Right, I'm, let's see, I just put it here because I missed it. But anyway, you get the idea. So now you can do it any way that you want, manipulate it in the way that you want, and now you can play it back in the way that you, you want to. So now it's manipulated. And you can chop it up the way that you really want to chop it up and manipulate those particular samples. So I hope you found this information very useful. Yo, I appreciate you guys rocking with me. Thanks for checking out the video. If you like what we're doing here at We Create Music TV, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, right, as it helps us to rank higher on the YouTube algorithm, puts this type of content in front of others. Hit the bell to get notified of new content as well. And thank you very much for tuning in. Peace.